Hi and welcome to the first part of the building SS using Django and Vue.js. In this part we are going to create an empty project and do some setup and structuring. I will try to explain everything I do as good as I can, but if something is unclear or anything, feel free to leave a comment below. Let's begin by creating a virtual environment. I always recommend using a virtual environment because it makes everything more separated so deploying and similar is much easier. I create a new environment by running virtual env and then the name of the environment. I want it to be SKNIL which is the name of the project and then the python version I'm running and hit enter. When the environment is ready I can go into that folder and activate it. I do that by running source bin activate. Now it's time to install Django. I do that by running pip install Django. This will install the latest version of Django which currently is 3.0.6. And then it's done, perfect. Everything looks fine and now it's time to create an empty Django project. Django admin start project SKNIL then we can go into the SKNIL folder one file and one folder was created the manage.py file is a script to run administrative tasks in the command line inside the SKNIL folders you can see ASGI and WSGI which are entry points for the web server Settings.py is where all the configuration for the project will be placed. URLs.py is where all the URLs will be. It's kind of a table of contents for the whole project. Before I do anything more I want to make sure the database and the base tables are created. I do that by running python manage.py make migrations. No changes and that's because we haven't done anything in there yet. And then we can run python manage migrate. This will do the actual migration and create the database. Since the database is ready now we can also create the user for the admin interface which we are going to use later. Python manage.py create super user. I like to use admin as username example at example.com the email doesn't matter right now and the password and the super user was created successfully I always like to start all my project by creating some folders we are going to need we can begin by creating the folders for our media files media typo Encoded media. Inside there I want one folder for the assets and inside assets I want one folder for styles, one for JavaScript and one for images. Also I want one folder for apps and inside the styles folder I want to create two empty files as well. Touch media assets styles main.css and main.scss. The scss file is a sas which is a css tool. I will come back to that very soon. This will be the main structure for the project. The apps folder is where we want all the, of the apps to be added. This makes a better structure since the root won't be filled with too many folders. Next I want to set up everything I need for sas. As I said, SAS is a CSS tool. It makes it possible to add variables, compressing and much more. It sounds more complicated than it is. Let's go to an editor. I like to use Visual Studio Code and open the project. Inside the root I want to create a new file called package.json. This is a file where all the dependencies for Node will be placed. Node and Simler isn't what I know best, so I don't have full control over everything in the config. But I know what the file needs to include. The content of package.json will look like this. Name. Add the name for the project. Version. 
one zero zero dev dependencies we want to grant one point zero one we also want to grant contrib says here we want uh, version one and the last package we want is grunt contrib watch and that's the correct version perfect that's everything we need in this file so we can go back to the command line and install the dependencies we do that by running npm install it doesn't take too long And when the dependencies are installed, I can go and create a grunt file. This is a file where I tell Node how to compile the CSS and where to find the CSS files. So in the root folder, I create a new file called gruntfile.js. Again, I'm not 100% sure about content because these webpack things can be a little bit overwhelming. If you don't understand everything that's going on here, you shouldn't worry. It's usually a thing you do when you set up a project and then forget about it. Module.exports equals function grant. grant and in here we add the tasks that we want to be run. One of the tasks is says options. We want the style to be compressed and the files media assets styles main.css. This is the file where the content should be placed. And here is the file we want to be compiled. Media assets styles main.scss. Below says we want the one more task called watch. And we want to watch these files. Media assets styles. So Every time we change a file with this ending, we want to run these tasks. Says test. So when one file inside this folder is changed, we want to run this task, which is this. Below here, we need to import a few things. Grunt.load npm tasks. Grant contrib says just paste it and change to watch grant register task default because this is the default task says test. Now we can save. That should be everything. We can add a little content to the SAS file here just to test it body background blue and save then we can go back to the command line and test it we can test it by running grunt and here you see that says dist was run and it's done then we can check the contents of main CSS and here we see a compressed version of this file perfect it's also possible to run grunt says for doing that tasks and we can say grunt watch and now it's watching the files so if I again go back here say color white and save and then it's added here automatically the project configuration is more or less ready now so we can continue to some more exciting things I hope this video was interesting. In the next part of this series, I will begin to create Django apps, base templates, and similar. 
If you want notification when the next part is published, you can subscribe to my channel and remember to click the bell.